Welcome to the 11th award ceremony of the People's Book Prize in the presence of our patron, Frederick Forsyth, CBE. First is children, and the first winner, wait for it, is B. <laughs> Oh my God! This is what you're going to get. Now. Oh, you're going to you via the post. So come wow. on, you're going to prove it. The artist is just as good and as important as the writer. I'm looking forward to entering again. You made my life perfect and complete. Thank you so much for voting for me. Every so done. Now I'm going to pass over to our patron, Frederick Forsyth, to announce the non-fiction winner. And the number one prize goes to A Girl Behind Dark Glasses by Jessica Taylor Beerman. Well done, Jessica. Thank uh, you so much. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, it is such an honor to receive this award for A Girl Behind Dark Glasses. I was trapped inside my body. I couldn't speak, eat or move. If I could go back and tell the 15 year old Jessica that in the future I would have a best-selling and award-winning book, it would have given me so much hope. Thank you. Well done, Jessica. Thank you very much. <laughs> the fiction finalists for the People's Book Prize 2020. Uh, I know how much luck you need and I wish it to every one of you. Uh, the one this evening who has it, however, is the man who wrote The Weighing of the Heart, and that is Paul Tudor Owen. Paul, well done. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm absolutely blown away. It really means a lot to me to, to have won this. Um, I think when you are trying to start out as an author and um, you're, um, you have a small publisher, it's very hard to get publicity, it's very hard to get traction for your book, and it's really, really important that awards like this are able to pull writers up and, and, and publicize um, what they're doing. And I hope it's done that for all of us who are here tonight. Congratulations to the authors and their publish and all the finalists. You are all winners in my mind anyway. Now it's time to announce this year's winners for the first time author, best achievement and best publisher. First up, it's the first time author award in honor of our founding patron, Dame Beryl Bainbridge. This year's winner has written a book that's an inspiration to all. It's the story of how one person's indomitable spirit helped them overcome the many adversaries, ad adversities that life threw at them. It's a celebration of survival. And the winner is, you okay, Christy? Like Christy Fleming. Well yeah. done. She won well, out. She won. Yes. Well done. Well done, Christy. Yeah, I'm so thrilled for Rock, for Rock. the publisher. She's a lovely woman and a very good friend. She took a risk with me, and it's just amazing what she's done. Thank you so much, and well done, Ross. Well done, you, Christy. That's amazing. Amazing Thank achievement. Thank you very much, Christy and his publisher. Next up, we have the 2020 People's Book Prize for Best Achievement. This award is given every year to an author whose book advances the human condition, benefiting their community or the world at large in some way. This year's winner has not only told a fantastical story that can give strength to children suffering the trauma of being in hospital, but a percentage of every sale of the book is being donated to the NHS. The winner of this extraordinary award is uh, Alda. Yes. Thank you very much. Very proud. I'd like to thank Claire at Blossom Spring Publishing. Uh, I'd like to thank Anne, who did the illustrations. And most of all, I'd like to thank everyone who, who voted and has bought the book. Uh, very, very proud. Thanks very much. Contribution goes to Alder Hay, 
the next return to Alder is out in uh, in October. Thank you very much. It's wonderful. Well done, Graham. The 2020 People's Book Prize for Best Publisher. This year's winner is a company that prides itself on publishing great authors who write fantastic books. But their aim is to give a voice to those who need it, to help underrepresented authors in order to accomplish more diversity and inclusion. This dynamic female-led publishing house printed its first book in May 2017, only three years ago. Oh, this year, four of their authors are among the finalists in the People's Book Prize. Over to Freddie Forsyth, our patron, to announce the winner. Uh, just to say a quick word that, that we all need publishers. We, we are nothing without them. We need your support. We're grateful for it. You're the people who actually pluck us from, from nowhere and put us on the map, if at all. And this time, uh, the best publisher is Hashtag Press. And here it is. Uh, and I'm going to, uh, to, uh, to say a few words. Yes. How exciting! We're so so excited about this. We obviously, as you heard, we only started three years ago, but we have published more than twenty books from underrepresented writers. And our mission is to get as many fantastic books out there as possible. We're proud of every author who's been as finalist. We've had amazing, amazing luck, and we're so grateful. So thank you to Tatiana and to everybody. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Um, I think I've got to say to start with that this has been the most extraordinary, weird, bizarre year that I suppose most of us have ever lived through. But we uh, have to shut ourselves away anyway to do what we do. So we're probably better adapted than anybody, actually. Most people can't work if they're locked away in a single room. We can't work any other way. So for us, life goes on, the career goes on, writing will go on, little affected by what is devastating the rest of the country. So I would say, cheer up. For those who got a prize tonight, well, well done. For those who didn't, never mind. There'll be another year next year, and we will next year, almost certainly meeting uh, all spruced up. Um, and I'm going to ask the dear, lovely Tatiana to accept that uh, I'm going to be 82 next month. It really is time for someone with more drive, more vigor, more youth, for God's sake, to, to take over from me and, uh, and run this, um, this extraordinary uh, competition um, as well or better. So to you all, thank you and good night. Sleep tight. Thank you very much. Thank you all for dressing up and making it as nice an event as we could make it, given the circumstances, all doing it from our, from our houses around the country. So stay safe. We see you next year. Um, and I think you all deserve one more round of applause for yourselves and each other. So well done.